Hello there everybody and welcome to another Teaching Tips. And today I'm still continuing on our general theme of developing repertoire, a repertoire rich teaching studio. And today I thought I'd like to talk to you about how we help students to grade their own choice pieces. So it's important I think that students learn, um, do get to choose their own choice pieces, but often we find they tend to bring them along and they're far too hard because one of the features of a repertoire rich uh, teaching studio is that students learn lots of pieces but the pieces are all really quite accessible for them. In other words, they are within their uh, level of playing skill and they um, have a good understanding of the different features that are required for this piece. So if they bring along a really hard piece that you know is going to take them some time to learn, then that kind of defeats the purpose of having the repertoire rich. They need easier pieces, or pieces, as I say, that are well within their level that they can move forward with. So helping them to choose uh, a piece that is appropriate um, is a really important thing, helping them to grade a piece. And it helps them to take ownership and also to develop a curious mindset so that they can look at a piece of music and start asking questions about it in relationship to their own understanding. So I've been doing this recently with some of my students and I just thought I'd share the process a little bit with you. And one student in particular, an intermediate level student, um, and he has got this book. Uh, this is the one I'm going to refer to and it's a Hal Leonard publication and it's Journey Through the Classics Complete. Okay, It's lovely because it goes all the way from elementary to, I think, late intermediate and you might already have the separate editions of this book and I was alerted to this through some of my curious colleagues, piano teaching colleagues and it, it's great because it's a big book but it gives them a sense of um, being able to motor through pieces for a repertoire rich challenge. I would, I would recommend it. So the two pieces that we were looking at together is the very first one in the book, which is an early elementary by Michael Pretorius of Renaissance Darks. I'll play it to you in a moment. And then we were comparing it with a Leopold Mozart burlesque. And we were looking at them more than playing them because I wanted him to sort of work it out for himself. So I'll just quickly show you the score. This is the Renaissance Darks. Now you might, there we go. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. You might recognise this because actually it's in the initial grade, but it's a different arrangement in the initial grade for ABRSM. So this one's in C major. And then this is the Mozart burlesque. There we go. That's the Mozart burlesque. So when I um, showed him the two pieces, actually I'll just give you a quick blast so you can get to hear what they sound like. Here's the Renaissance dance. First two, two lines. together and um, I, t I asked him to tell me what what his view of of it was in terms of a, a, a piece to learn was there anything on the page that was beyond his understanding and of course there wasn't anything and I said okay so tell me about the tonality of the piece and the the tonic of the piece and therefore the key of the piece time signature and he was able to tell me all that and, and then I, I sort of gave, um, asked him a really interesting question, what do you think is the hardest part of the piece? And he was able to point out that actually the next line, bar nine onwards, is the hardest part of the piece because this goes... <laughs> right left hand right hand left hand right hand but the trickiest thing is the fact that um, the G's repeat whilst the left hand is playing so you have to bring your right hand off the keyboard while the left hand stays there so you know we take it for granted as piano teachers that we can do that but actually for a beginner student that's really quite an advanced coordination skill and he was able to pick that out and 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 sort it out and yes within a week he would learnt it and he was able to play it up to speed as well using that seven out of ten test that i was talking about last week the other re 
really interesting thing about this was he was able to sing the first line to me now because we do soul far here he was able to sit there and i said mm, give yourself the do and he was able to sing do re mi mi fa re mi mi do re mi it was only this note he didn't get so far me so in other words he could hear the sound of the piece really clearly in his head before he was actually going to play it and that makes it so much easier when you can hear the sound in your head so then we turned to the second piece that i mentioned which is the mozart burlesque and i'll just give you a quick blast of that so you get that in your head yourself what are some of the challenges in that piece that the other piece didn't have just from listening to it um, okay so it has it's in G major you know he was able to see that the tonic in this case was G and it was a t major tonality so it's G major the rhythms of course are much more complicated complex because we've got semiquavers in here not just four semiquavers but quaver semiquavers um, it has an upbeat, who's able to pick out the fact that it's got an upbeat. That makes it harder to start because you have to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Um, it's allegro as opposed to the moderato of the previous one. So that makes it harder, who's able to pick out that. And of course, the most challenging thing of all is the left hand. And he was able to say, well, look, the left hand is just constantly moving out of position. Gosh, that makes it hard when the left hand is just constantly moving. Um, don't underestimate how hard that makes a piece of music for even an intermediate student because they have to be totally secure about what their left hand is doing. And they haven't got time to go G, G, B, B, C, C. They've got to know those notes because then you have to pile the right hand in on top and the right hand is totally independent. So the independent movement and the coordination of the hands makes it much, much harder. And then you've got little things like articulation, staccato and the, the, the slurs that are needed. So he was able to see quite easily and tell me what made the burlesque so much harder than the Renaissance dance and why actually the Renaissance dance was the first piece he was going to learn. So he, he managed to wrap up the Renaissance dance within a week. The burlesque, he'd still be learning it right now probably. We want with a repertoire rich uh, piano teaching studio to get them learning as many pieces as they can in a short space of time. We can take several of those pieces and develop them on t into a performance, uh, into more, to have more of a performance aspect, to take them to the next level, if you like. But at the moment, what we're wanting is lots of pieces learnt, seven out of ten. Hope you found that helpful. Look forward to seeing you next week.